Hey everyone, welcome to Paladin Comics. We are shooting another video, and this is of a large train estate hall that was made last week. So, just sorting through it slowly. The story behind this was that a um, gentleman was getting ready to build a train layout, and he passed away, unfortunately. He was building up all of his stock. Very similar to the story over on Locker Nuts, except this is not quite on the same level, the quality of the product. Most of it is HO scale. Uh, some N scale mixed in, but mostly HO. So I've been sorting through all of the trains, or most of them were still in the tiny little boxes that you see. I'll show you your names. All these little boxes. Holy cow. We still have boxes. Trains there to sort. I went through and already made up one lot of trains working on the second one. And this is how they come. They come in a box like this. I have to sort through, undo the train. Most of them are really beautiful shape. And most of these are uh, older Tyco, which is pretty cool. A lot of Athern and some other brands. But um, we have plenty of new in the box stuff too. Look at all the buildings in there. So that's a box of buildings. That's uh, like a combination of Hot Wheels and tracks. So that box right there is tracks. That's mostly Hot Wheels. That is all HO scale track right there. All of it unused. So that'll be pretty easy to sell. Uh, some other items. Large straightaway tracks. These aren't too bad. I just got to take them apart. They're each two sections. And some other stuff like this is kind of cool. This is a military, HO scale military set of tanks. So it's an M60, I believe. So kind of neat. A lot of new in box stuff there. Some catalogs, a lot of other loose trains. Tons of, these are all HO. So here, here, that box there, there, that box, that box. It was just, that box there is from the lot, that one, and that one too. Now these two are different. Those are from, those two U-Haul boxes are actually pre-built 135th scale military which I have slowly been selling on my eBay store. And this is what they look like. These are all soon to be listed. Those came from an estate too. I have that box and then that one came, that came from a separate estate. Those were a little bit more beat up, but 135th scale military built are pretty cool. So we have some longer to do for family, helping out family, but um, without looking at names, okay, I think I got that covered up good. Um, so these are all trains in these boxes. So when I go to un take them out, the thought was, okay, do I sell these as a lot as they are in the box or do I unbox them and sell them, group them together? Cause there are tons of the same train, like not this one which is, that's actually pretty cool. Never seen that before. But for example, some of the Union Pacific and Santa Fe stuff down in here, I have multiples, like some of the Union Pacific cars, the low boy, I think these are called, I forgot the name of them. They're my ignorance when it comes to train types. But there are multiples of quite a few of the train, so it'll make it actually very easy to list on eBay. You know, as an eBay seller, if you sell like items, it's easy to sell them when you have multiples. But like, look at this, isn't that cool? Rio Grande, this would be considered a cattle car because it's slotted to allow the cattle to breathe. Uh, probably made by Tyco. Usually Tyco puts a stamp on the bottom. Some of the, a lot of the older items do not have any markings, is what I've noticed. Most of the Tyco and Athern and others do though. So here's another. Look at that, isn't that cool? 
Look, Prima Company, Chicago. Union Refrigerator Transit Company. So a train car like this, box car, it's complete. Uh, trucks are in good shape, no damage. It looks really nice. It's not even dusty or anything like that. Um, you know, usually these sell for about five to fifteen dollars loose. It just depends on the rarity. And once you find out how rare it is, that'll determine whether or not you another box. That determines whether or not you sell them as a lot or individually. I'm gonna open up the next one. There's the next one being opened. This is fun, actually. I love doing this. It is work, but it is quite a bit of fun to unbox and stuff. And I don't have my camera on a tripod, so... Picked that up today. That's a Trax's uh, Bigfoot Stampede. Only run once. Gotta be the first one out the gate if you want something like this train collection. Multiple people made offers, but nothing close to what she was asking. And I paid a grand for the whole lot. And it's... These trains, those in the box here, that, those boxes right there, all of that in front of my workbench to the left there, all of that on the floor, and then those three boxes up top over there. So, how much is the estimated value of the whole lot once sold? Shoot, um, probably at least a few grand. Will it take time to get there? Yeah, it'll take some time. But it's so worth it, you know? Um, here's another box. Now, I have no idea what I'm going to do with a 5 million little boxes. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to bag them up and throw them in the shed, actually, because they take up so much room. Here's another one. Ah! My trusty DeWalt knife, which will be the death of me if I'm not careful. Let's see, you got to... Thinking about using a GoPro with a chest can, maybe at some point. Not entirely sure. I'm gonna do that. All right, here we go. There's another box. Let's see what's in this one. All these boxes have been closed. It looks like he passed away. I think they said it was earlier this year, and it was due to COVID complications, unfortunately. Um, the he was getting ready to build a model train layout at his house. He lived out west. West of him here in Phoenix. Lived out in Surprise. Really nice family. Um, I believe he was a veteran also. Don't know which branch because I didn't, I don't ask too many details. I try to not pry, you know. People want to tell me things, that's great, but I try not to be intrusive. Don't mind me with the camera. I know it's flicking all over the... Ah, oh, let's look, look what's in here. More box cars. Red. They are not red. Just the bubble wrap. Thing. Oh, these are cool. Look at that. Old, old Dutch cleanser. And look, the train was made to look dirty. Is that cool or what? So the train was actually weathered. We can find out who the manufacturer is. Made by Tyco. Cool. That's awesome. Another Tyco piece. I love the Tyco trains. That's what I grew up with in the 80s. I had a couple of um, model trains such as a kid. I thought they were lots of fun. I never really got into it heavily though. And there goes another box. The box to the pile. I never got really, oh, it's Santa Fe. Oh, that's nice. I never got into it heavily, though. I was more of an RC car person. When RC cars were taken off in the 80s, I really got into that. And that was my... RC cars and comic books were my go-to as a kid. My two hobbies I love the most. And we did stamp collecting upstate New York because there was uh, not much to do up there. The post office was the highlight of the town. There wasn't anything else. We went out fishing and stuff, but... When we weren't doing that, we were at the post office or the little general store buying baseball cards and stamps and all that stuff. So here's another box. Whoops. Almost dropped that. Another box we're getting into right now. 
Well, look at that, CSX. My cousin's husband works for them in Florida. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. It's in really nice shape, just a little dusty. You know, before pictures, you just use a real light brush. A two inch brush does wonders for um, cleaning up stuff before you uh, take pictures on. Here's another one coming out of the packet. This is fun actually going through them. Look at that rail box, nationwide box carpool. Uh, I wonder if this is Tyco. Uh, yep, uh, that looks like an older Tyco logo. That's pretty cool. Check that out. I've never seen that logo before, but look at the bottom. Detail's pretty neat too. That's pretty cool. That might be like a $10 to $15 piece, it being older Tyco. I am laying them on each other, but carefully. The goal is to unbox everything except the buildings because there's no point in doing that. I'm going to unbox those, take pictures, and then I'm going to rebox them into numbered boxes. See those U-Haul boxes? Those are all 135th scale miniature models, all new in box. So what I do is I take a picture. A key thing as an eBay seller to keep track is knowing where your inventory is. So when you put the item up for sale, if you have in the picture what box number it's in or what location it is in your inventory, that makes it quite a bit easier when it comes time to uh, ship everything out. Still got more boxes in here. Still going through. So I'm going to flip the boxes upside down. There's another one here. Got my eye. Let's see what's in this one. Let's see. This is fun. There are so many new items too. Uh, just to give you an idea, some of the really cool new items that came out of this lot so far are on this shelf here. So we have some Wathers, uh, roundhouse stations, and storage buildings. And these are really cool. Some older buildings, new in the box too, which is pretty awesome. And then look at this. It's like a junkyard. Woodland Scenics. This is about a, a about a thirty to forty dollar piece. They're worth good money. Got a new in box, a new in box old Bachman Signal Bridge. That's pretty neat. I think that's worth about fifteen dollars. Got Plasticsville USA. This is a hamburger drive-in stand. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Isn't that neat? That's so cool. And then you have like some old Atlas track. Some old Atlas track new in the box. By the way, guys, if you're watching this video, I'm going to post a link to my eBay store. All of these models are in my eBay store. All of them. So, and everything's priced to move. Some of the locomotives that I found, these are pretty awesome. These are all brand new too. Look, a lifelike Santa Fe. It's about $20 to $30. Another Atlas. HO. These are all HO scale, by the way. An Amtrak, which is pretty neat. Uh, this is really cool. This is not in the original packaging, but this is a, um, a locomotive commemorating our 200-year bicentennial. That is pretty cool. Now, I can't tell, but it doesn't look like it's been used. It looks like that's the original foam packaging, but this is not the original box, which is fine. I could do like new out of box or something like that. Then I have an Athern. This is, uh, look back in the day, $26. That's like a price tag from the 80s. That's an old school price tag right there. Su, which is probably Japanese of some type. I don't think that's a US uh, name. Doesn't sound like it anyway. I might be wrong. The, and this is called a, uh, so this is from Spectrum. I never even heard of them before. Spectrum, and it is a, um, a diesel, Caltrans. So California Transport is probably the name of the rail, rail, railroad line out there. Look at that, isn't that cool? I checked this out already. These are worth, um, I think about 50 to 60 or so. 
These are not stupid expensive, but they are worth good money, you know, in bulk when you sell stuff like this. You figure there's six cars there. Six cars at about 40 bucks a piece is about 240 to, you know, uh, $400 worth of sales right there. Not bad. So the sorting continues. The goal is to get all of the used, um, used ones out of the, out of the box that they're in. Oops. And then take pictures of them, group them in like lots. So I have plenty of Union Pacific. Um, here is a uh, Peabody. So this is a uh, drop car because what it does is you you fill it with grain or whatever it is that you're carrying, and then the bottom's open and it dumps out. So they use those for like feed or coal. Uh, coal is one of the big things that they use them for because coal's so heavy and they transport. Transported all by rail. Oh, this is really cool. Ah, look at that. Reese's peanut pe Reese's pieces peanut butter drop car. Now I don't know. I th that's probably more of just a showpiece because you know you, you don't drop Reese's pieces. That just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and all the bubble wrap's getting like super staticky for me. Because I have such an electric personality. No, that's terrible. Never mind that. And then um, here's another Union Pacific. So I have quite a few of these. I must have at least 10 of these at this point. So that'll be super easy to bulk list. Stuff like the Reese's piece, that'll be um, individually. Or maybe as a lot, you know, if it's not worth much. Here's another Union Pacific. Pretty cool. Nice shape. Let's see, the trucks on the bottom look good. The wheel assemblies look fine. The coupler is on there. It's not broken. A simple piece, but you know, those might go like uh, as a lot. I'm not sure. I'll have to see what the pricing is. I don't think those bring much money individually. And then the last one from this lot, from this particular box. Well, this is pretty cool. Oh, I think I have, so look at that. It's like a, like a presidential car. State of Pennsylvania. I mean, that might be part of the, oh, this is probably part of the bicentennial uh, locomotive we just saw. Yeah, it is actually. So this is probably, I'll have to remember, I'll have to keep that on the very top where I can see it. Another box, more boxes, whoops. Oh my God, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all those boxes. It's kind of out of control. There are more trains. We'll go through a couple more boxes. I think you guys get the idea. And then there was, um, like there was some trains that were parts slots too. So if you look here, those are all parts right there. They're all missing the, um, the wheels or the couplers, they're all, they're all damaged. But the cool thing is, these are made out of steel. So these are metal. And they're all, I can sell these all as a like lot. So maybe someone has the parts to repair, you know. Um, any modeler who knows their stuff would probably be able to repair that. Some cool things are, in this was like a new in the box Santa Fe large rail car. I think these are the 50 feet, 50 foot ones. The shorter ones are called the 10 footers. And that funny stuff like this. Okay. Spooky Town. I don't even know if the I don't know if this is made. Yeah, this is Lamax. I mean it might be model related, but they seem they're awfully big for um you know for headstones. <laughs> they're cool though. I it's too big for HO scale. But then there's other things like this. We have you know, snap and glue set, magnetic clamps. It's basically like a little building you could put together and then detail or do whatever you want yourself. Or So I think they're supposed to be clamps, but it's supposed to be a building. 
Oh, it's clamps to put together a building. Never mind. Wow. Okay. Excuse my ignorance right there. And then um, other cool things that were in the lot, like most of my still tailwinds, I, can, I think these are considered almost like HO scale, maybe a little small, but look at the, these sold at Walmart for only $1.97 back in 2001 or whenever these were sold. I think I remember seeing these like 10 plus years ago, but these sell for about $15 to $20 a piece now, but they're so cool. Look at the detail. You have a little stand. So it's a Chinook, which is a Army transport helicopter, transport and infantry. We'll do one more box and then uh, we'll call it an evening for going through. I just gotta find my knife. Where's my knife? There it is. Hope you guys are enjoying this. If you haven't already watched my uh, hobby estate haul other video, please check that out. A lot of those items from that um, that buy are going up on my eBay store as we speak. Well, not right this moment, but I am working on it. So I'm at about 900 subscribers on my eBay store right now. So if you join, I run deals all the time. You can make the best offers on anything that you see. I ship out three days a week. So I'm at the post office a lot. Look at that, another Union Pacific. See, I told you. Super easy to list. You know, when you have like items or the same item, group them together, do a listing. There's so many ins and outs to eBay and being a reseller. This is pretty cool, another Union Pacific. That's a larger drop, uh, what are they called? Drop car, I think is what they call. I gotta, I gotta figure out what to do with all these boxes I'm throwing there. Look at that. It's a little out of control. A little out of control, and there's more. Now, the the rail car, the uh, tracks, I'm not gonna unbox. That'd be kind of silly. Because most of those are um, like bulk buys. The Union Pacific. So it's kind of funny that I bought this about, what, maybe a month after. Jack and his wife bought the storage locker out in California for a buck. They bought that mo massive model railroad um, estate. And it was one of multiple lockers, apparently. And the guy was going to build a layout the size of the same one out in uh, Germany. Model uh, miniature land, or whatever they call it out there. It's ironic that I bought my first major model train lot shortly after. I've bought model trains in the past, but I don't typically buy them often. Um, I'm more into comic books and RC, but you know, I'm also into Todd McFarlane stuff, you can see up there. But um, yeah, but this was a really good buy. Um, I was one of, I think at least three or four buyers that was looking at it but no one was offering her full price. And, you know, you have to be respectful. It was an estate sale. Um, it was her father's estate. He seemed like a pretty cool guy. And he had to only be in his maybe mid to late 50s at the most. And uh, just passed away from COVID complications. So that's, you know, that's happened a lot in the last year and a half, unfortunately. But um, at least it'll be going to good use. I'm going to resell this to other people on eBay, you know, people that can use it. I'll give everyone an awesome deal, of course, like I always do. And I like to move product. So if you are watching this, check out the links below in the description to follow to my eBay store to see what I have. Leave comments if you like, share out the video. And we're gonna call this one an evening and probably post maybe some more videos as we go along as sales continue. But um, hope you enjoyed watching and continue for the next one. Bye.